After we learned how to access our classrooms, now it's time to learn how we can communicate on Microsoft Teams. We can communicate in three different ways. We can go to the chat button at the left tab, or we can go to the calls. And we can also communicate inside each team alone. In the chat tab, we can do private conversation with our friends, classmates, or our teachers. By clicking on the new chat, we type the name of the person that we are trying to communicate with, and then we start typing a message, or we can video call or audio call this person. All the previous chats will appear on the side panel. Like that, we can always revisit our chats. If we go down to the Calls tab, also found on the left button, we will find all the options related to calls. For example, in the history, we will find the recent calls we made. Also, we can add groups so we can find it easier to contact them all. We can also add contacts. Or, we can go down to Make a Call and type the name of the person that we are trying to connect with. Once we do that, it will automatically show us two options, whether to call them or to video call them. If we want to connect with someone inside Teams, we can click on the team, which will move us directly to the Posts tab. We can click on New Conversation. Keep in mind that whatever you type here will go to the entire team and not just a certain person. We can type our message and click send. We can also communicate using emojis. And we have other options like replying to a certain message or reacting to it. This conversation only happens inside the posts tab, inside each team we will find that each team has its own conversation post. Oh look, someone is calling. We better accept the call. Once we accept the call, we will have options such as camera and microphone. We need to make sure that our cameras are on and microphones are off. And then we can see that we can join the meeting now. We can also see the meeting's name, lesson one. Once we join the meeting, we will see small tabs on the bottom that will help us determine how can we interact in this video call. Let's zoom in. First, we will find the duration of the meeting we are in. Following the regulations of the school, cameras should always be turned on and microphones muted. So if one of the options is not available, we can control that here. In most of the meetings, we are attendees and not presenters. Also, we need to raise our hand if we want to speak. As you see, your hand is raised and we click on it if we are answered by the teacher. We can also see conversation, participants and the hang up button. If we hang up accidentally or something wrong happened with our connection, we can always join the meeting by going back to the team and we will find it in the Posts tab. We can also see the small camera icon next to the channel. This is how we know where the meeting is being held. Again, we join the meeting by turning on our cameras and turning off our microphones. We can use the conversation button to type in messages while the meeting is happening. So everybody in this meeting can now see our messages. we can click on the participants to see who else is also in this meeting. As you see in the posts tab, all the actions that happened inside the meeting is now shown here. For example, in the conversation I typed two messages and I can see them in the posts tab. I can also see the previous meetings. So the posts is also a notification of everything is going on inside our team. Go to www.universalcollege.edu.lb to find more tutorials. Or 
visit and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Universal College Dash Alay.